a cold, grey day in Schleswig-Holstein in Germany. The wind whistles through the pit in which our duel will shortly take place. A duel between an old master and a young star. This here is the off-road legend, the Toyota Land Cruiser. For the past 60 years, it's been climbing mountains all over the world. The very first time it did that, on the Fujiyama in Japan, it didn't have competitors like this, the chic and sleek SUV, represented here by the VW Touareg. If you listen to the macho diehards, they'll tell you that this motor was designed for single women with two kids, and that for them at best, off-road means accidentally driving up the curb. That's rubbish, of course. The car has a lot of off-road quality to offer and at the end of the day it's a question of which car is best. The gravel pit. That's where it's at home. Since the 1950s the Toyota Land Cruiser has been grinding a path through all of the world's uneven surfaces. It's always been a roomy character, 621 to almost 2,000 litres of room to be exact. This car is a real off-roader and one frequently referred to as being indestructible. The construction is simple, frame below, body on top, live axle behind. This car is meant for the Congo, not Chelsea. It has central locking, reduction gears, four-wheel drive, all standard. The Land Cruiser is without a doubt the better off-road vehicle. But can it really do the business off-road? The truth is, not really. It has to be said that it totters and sways. Well, it's fairly comfy in the beginning, but on longer runs, it can make you feel a bit queasy. And when you've got kids in the back, you should keep a couple of sick bags handy. This motor drives more like a small truck than a car. The three-litre diesel takes 11 seconds until it hits the 100k mark, with a top speed of 175 k's and a fuel consumption of 9.6 litres. That's not so bad considering its big size. The good news is the price of this Colossus is amazingly low, at least when you compare it to the VW Touareg. The off-roader is all yours for €43,000. VW Touareg. That hasn't stood for off-road vehicles for over 60 years, but does stand for the booming SUV sector in Germany over the past decade. It stands for space like in a station wagon but with more luxury and style. Then no one complains that there is no way of getting a new Touareg for under 50,000 euros. The SUV pampers you with its quality workmanship, finest materials and a lively engine. With 14 horsepower more than the Land Cruiser, the 3 litre diesel hits 100, almost three seconds faster. At around 206 km per hour on the motorway, the Touareg can keep up and even the fuel consumption is below that of the Toyota, although not as much as one would have thought. Its strengths are in the drivability. Even with your foot down, you hardly notice that you're in an SUV. Add to this the fact that the eight-step automatic transmission barely noticeably changes gears. A flat seating position with seats with good lateral support, crisp steering, good standard of comfort, no swaying or leaning, no tipping, it doesn't feel like an off-road truck at all, more like a big car. This motor has been built to lend a little luxury to the SUV class and not necessarily to win any off-road trophies. You have to dig a little deeper to buy the Volkswagen, but it offers more features with less maintenance. And without doubt, the Touareg is the better street car. And let's be honest, this is where both cars will be moved most. This means the better off-roader actually loses out here the Touareg wins the comparison on this count.